Hi everybody, it's time for another J9's Patio Chat Check-In. I am on the patio, it's a beautiful evening. Uh, I'm hoping to do my patio chats mostly out here when I can, as you know. It's been a while since I've been consistent, but I'll try. Um, I like to do them in the light, but uh, tonight I had body pump and it was a busy day, so I wasn't able to get out here. But here we are. I have two birthdays for today. It is Glenn Calvert's birthday and he is in the US and I know him through my friend JR and his husband Bud. And Bud is the same person, the dad of Freedom, the horse who was 20 years old either last week or the week before. So that's the connection there. And it is also Grace's birthday. And Grace is my friend Jane Orham's sister. And Jane is um, a Cape Bretoner, but I don't know if her sister is, I'm assuming she is, but I, I know sometimes you can't make those assumptions. Siblings are not always born in the same place. Um, and I'm not even sure where Grace is living now. But wherever you are, Grace, I hope you're having a wonderful birthday. So I do have um, a few things Cape Breton related to talk about today. Big surprise. It's a very um, special day on Cape Breton Island today because it is Superhero Day. And it is, that is in support of Caleb's courage. And Caleb is, is a little boy um, who unfortunately passed away when he was three years old. He had childhood cancer. Um, I had never met Caleb, but I knew a lot about him. Any Cape Bretoner would, and many people know about Caleb. His story is very famous now because for such a young little boy, he had a very courageous spirit and very warm heart. And um, so many people raise money um, for Caleb and for the Regional Hospital Foundation um, for cancer. So Caleb left quite a legacy behind despite his very young age. So Caleb's courage, look Caleb up. It's all also, before I forget, because I do have another Cape Breton thing I want to talk about, a couple, but it's also World Tuberculosis Day. And I will let you do research on World Tuberculosis because I know usually I give you some information. Those of you who are on my Facebook, I posted about it, but um, tuberculosis is still a very, very prominent issue. It's, it's definitely um, people die, a lot of people die from tuberculosis every year. You can look up those numbers yourself. Like I said, I'm gonna give you some homework. Um, but I was working on tuberculosis um, not that long ago when I was working at FACS. So educate yourself about tuberculosis if you are not familiar. Back to Cape Breton. So we have Caleb's Courage, like I said. And today, another little Cape Bretoner that I just love is Ella McPherson. And Ella, her family decided to do an update today because of Caleb's courage. Um, Ella is a little sweetie. I can't remember how old Ella is, but Ella's dad, um, Ryan McPherson, is the equipment manager at the with the Eagles, and he is actually a very close friend of my brother. Um, and him and his wife, and then little Boyd, um, Ella's brother, lovely little family. Also, fun fact, that was Kevin Mandelisa's billet family. So Kevin has a special place in his heart for Ella, as we all do. So Ella had a bone marrow transplant. She had a lot of issues as a young, as a baby. This is terrible, I cannot remember how old she is. She's not, she's only a few years old. I don't know if she's quite, I don't know if she's three. She might be three, um, but she's not very old. And she's had a lot of health issues and she did have a bone marrow transplant. So she was actually sick before COVID, but of course that was an extra layer of things that happened. Um, her, she, had, she was at Sick Kids in Toronto for a while and then she was in Halifax. She's had quite a journey, but she is doing great. So again, Kay Bretners know Ella, we love Ella. We're following Ella's story and I'm just so happy to see Ella um, doing well. And I, uh, I run by Ella's, not right by her house, but uh, by, yeah, a little bit close to her house when I'm home sometimes, because they live not that far from us, where my parents live, and I'm always thinking about her. So anyway, it's, it's, I just love to share those stories. And another good news, good news story out of Cape Breton, and we need good news stories, is our very own Colton Ellis from River Denny is one of the first, or is the first, Cape Breton-born goaltender that signed an NHL contract with the St. Louis Blues. I love it because I can cheer for the St. Louis Blues. I think you all know I have a special place in my heart for them too. So that's great. Congratulations, Colton. Let me see, what else do I have here? I think that might be it. I think those might be my notes. So busy day today, um, 
tomorrow's Thursday. I am participating in my last, um, I think I've talked about it before, taking um, some anti-racism training through the Public Health Agency. It's something that FAC Atlantic put together and this will be the last session we do. I was very fortunate to have Health Canada support me to continue um, doing the three-part series while I was there. So I'm happy, I'm happy as always to take part in that. I had hoped I might be able to go see the Eagles and Mooseheads play last uh, tomorrow night, but unfortunately that's not gonna happen because I can't get tickets, but it's difficult to get tickets, of course, because of um, COVID, the same number of tickets aren't available. However, um, I will listen to my brother, so really isn't that better. So there it is, everybody. Another day in the books. Patio chat number 374. Think? Yes, it is. Okay. So take good care of yourselves. Take good care of others. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.